no secret that an aquarium is a place of wonder. A place where creatures of the sea become a part of our lives and us a part of theirs. But it wasn't until I was immortalized here that I realized the true magic happens when the lights go off. to be back. My name is John Ogie, and for 39 years I was the director of this aquarium. Now I'm an overseer. It's a full-time job keeping everyone happy. Don't believe me? Well, at night this place comes alive. But tonight, I've been called on because there's a mystery afoot. Every night for the past week, another one of our fish goes missing. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of this. Everyone is normally so well behaved. Our first suspect is the smartest girl in here. The octopus. She's known around here as a bit of an escape artist. Could she be responsible? I always used to say, four times the arms, four times the smarts. See, she has a central brain, but in addition, octopus actually have many brains in their eight arms. That's why she needs what we call enrichment. She needs to be challenged to keep her out of trouble. Tonight, this enrichment comes in the form of a puzzle, which is also her dinner. Her mind tries to figure out the maze. Like a rubber band, she stretches her arms to three times their normal length as she tries to reach all the way down the tubes. But the maze is long, and the little crabs are just out of reach. What's this? A crab's missing? Oh no! Little guy, this maze isn't for you! Got to be seeing this. Well, she didn't quite figure out the puzzle. But I think it's safe to say she's too preoccupied with dinner to go after our missing fish. Check her off the suspect list. If 
I recall the last time this happened, our big clue was when we found a baby shark in the sardine tank. <laughs> so it's probably worth keeping an eye on these baby swell sharks. For now, they're cozy inside their egg cases. All in different stages of development. As they grow, they consume the egg yolk until nothing of it is left. When they get hungry, they'll have to emerge out into the world. After a year in the egg case, this guy is ready to pop. We'll have to see if he gets himself into any trouble. This aquarium always has a way of surprising you. Speaking of surprises, did you know jellyfish need to be born twice before they grow up into adults? It's story time. Imagine mom and dad jellyfish are on a long road trip through the ocean and they love each other very much. And now, there's a baby. This baby is not a jellyfish and goes on its own little road trip before deciding to settle down, changing into a polyp. But soon, the polyp decides it wants to see the world, live a little, not be tied down by its polyp form. So it begins to change again into a strobila. And now, it's ready to give birth. A baby jellyfish, taking its first swimming strokes. Just the cutest little gelatinous umbrellas I've ever seen. Eventually, these baby jellyfish, or a fira, grow up to be full-grown jellyfish. One day, they'll find their own road trip partners, starting the happy process over again. Jellyfish always teach me to keep an open mind to weird possibilities. And I'm wondering if we're missing a clue with our mystery fish. One night, one of these fringe heads disappeared. But in the end, we realized a battle for King of the Shell had broken out. Former friends became rivals, using their colorful mouth displays for intimidation. After losing, the missing fish had just retreated deep into a corner, hidden from view. I hate to say it, yet it might be worth double-checking and counting our fish again. Before we do, though, let's completely tie off our suspect list and come back to our swell shark from earlier. And we're just in time. When he's ready, he'll push through the egg casing. It's tight though, and difficult. Is that mischief I see in those eyes? Or is he just stuck? Here we 
go. Monster. Wait a second. This is what we're afraid of. He couldn't hurt a fly. You know, as a human, 95% of sharks are terrified of us. But even as a fish, I don't think there's anything to worry about from this shark. Look at them all. It's safe to say that he, too, is off the suspect list. If it wasn't the swell shark, or the octopus, or any of the usual suspects, maybe my hunch was right, and we have just been counting the fish wrong. And there never was a mystery here. collected an angel shark from the wild last week. We'll have to teach him some manners. Well, mystery solved and my job here is done. And never a boring night at the aquarium.